Here's the problem we're going to look at today. 93 Dodge Dakota, as I mentioned, an air conditioning problem. Insufficient cooling. I've already hooked up the AC manifold pressure gauge set. Things are fine as far as refrigeration. Just don't think we're getting the recirc door working right. It's a vacuum operated system, so let's use the pressure and smoke tester to see what we can do quickly diagnosing the problem without having to spend hours and hours looking for a leaky vacuum hose. Let's hook it up under the hood now. And we're looking for an HVAC vacuum hose leak. Well, we know vacuum's source from the intake manifold goes through the bulkhead. Found the little hard plastic hose that we're looking for, and it was on uh, the intake manifold T, so that's so far so good. And we knew it was because we're getting the mode changes of air distribution. We're just not getting recirc, or it doesn't feel like we are. So I'm going to pull the hose that supplies vacuum to the HVAC system off of my T. And I'm going to insert the smoke machine slash pressure tester into that nipple on the end of that hard plastic hose. So now I'm feeding through the bulkhead. Instead of vacuum with the engine running, I'm going to feed a little bit of pressure in there and see how much leaks out as I manipulate the HVAC controls inside the vehicle. All right, very simple. We've taken the hose of supply of vacuum to this closed circuit HVAC vacuum uh, system under the hood, took it off, put our pressure in there. Now we're going to cycle the controls on the HVAC back and forth. Everything that has anything to do with vacuum, we're going to move it back and forth and watch the flow meter. If there's no leaks, the flow meter ball will be on the bottom. Let's go ahead and turn the machine on. It pops up for a second and she comes down to the bottom. Now, I'm going to hit my mode switches actuate various supplies of vacuum for different different diaphragms. Yeah, it bumps up a little bit, but then comes back to bottom. Now I'm going to move the slider switch back and forth, which controls my recirc. Oh, I start to see something, and the ball's floating. You know what that means, Tex. If the ball's floating, it's time to start smoking. Well, take a look at this bright light. You can see the smoke. Looks like we've got maybe the split in on the tip of this vacuum hose fitting. Now we're looking at the Ultra Trace UV die. Wow, you can really see it there. Well, we know how to fix a piece of vacuum hose that's got a split in. We'll simply chop it off, put a piece of eighth inch rubber hose on it. It'll seal good. The HVAC worked great, started it up, recirc worked wonderful, and no vacuum leaks. We fixed this cheap, we found it quickly, and we did it with pressure and smoke.